Alrighty, we are back. More World Cup coverage. It's your boy and Jay. Let's see what we got here right now. We got Austria versus Peru. Peru's been struggling a bit. But they still got time to bounce back. Enough matches to pull it off. But Austria has been pretty solid. These names, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm a butcher. So we're going to give them nicknames. From Atria, we are going for Drac. And on the Peru side, we got Nara Ku. Hopefully, pronounced the first name right. So, this fits more of what we've been seeing so far this World Cup qualifying period. In fact, on Drac's side, we got a popular team. I think that was made by Tala. And that was spammed by. Um, who made it to uh, OST finals and face my boy Bert? Stellar Flares. Yeah, Stellar Flares spammed this team all the way to his um, finals. I'm pretty sure he didn't bring it during finals over, but yeah, he, he spammed it to make it to uh, OST finals. So this team is pretty popular, decently well known. Yeah, Trick Scarf. So let me go over this team. So I will say the Valiant set I'm unsure about. I feel like you can change that based on the opponent, but that should be Specs to my understanding. I know the Rotom is Scarf. The Cinderace is standard court change. I don't remember though if it's Blaze or Libero. Uh, the Mungus. Rocky Helmet, if I recall. The Ting Lu is standard stack. Uh, I don't, I think, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember if it's Stealth Rock and Spike or the Stealth Rock. Based on the build out of match, it's just Stealth Rock because you already have, has the control with the um, Court Change Legend that is uh, Cinderace. Hopefully it doesn't go that here. And then we got Skeledrid. Skeledrid, which, you know, Unaware Monster, spreads Wisps around, Hexes things. On this team, I believe it's Terabuzz Fairy though, at least on some versions. To catch uh, Roaring Moon, considering it was so dominant, especially in the Chateau era. Like, this team was, like, very anti-Chateau. Like, this was a great bring versus uh, Chateau spammers. Um, solid team. So, goes Lou. It's going to get his hazards up. So, let's look. Let's, let's analyze the the team on the other end. We got Ting Lu. Uh, we have Golden Go. We have... Meow, we have Tusk, Dragapult, and Toxapex. Has a stack team, two ghosts. I mean, you know, I'll say a standard has a stack team with then two ghosts to prevent uh, easy spin. Unfortunately, though, uh, runs into a. Oh, I was gonna say, Cinderace isn't a fox, is it? Is it a feed a fox or a cat? We'll go a fox for now. And uh, the court change demon that it is. So that's not great. Luckily, though, it will be most likely be able to spin off uh, what it has set. And hopefully, it is able to apply uh, enough pressure. And I feel like on this build, it has a enough pressure to where removing these suckers would not be easy and will come at a cost. You will take damage to remove them. Nonetheless... I would say uh, Drac is in a pretty good position. He's done a good job. He's already bought the monster always that uh, Great Tusk is down to 50. Let me show Lobby. Oh, God, let me get Caldex out the way. Um, let's see. I already got the Ch Tinglu Choice Scarfed. I already got the Dragapult set revealed. I feel like good progress has been made. Decently on both sides. As the Tusk was able to also was able to remove the uh, Rocky Helmet off among. So if this, for example, wants to be you turning around, doesn't have to worry about getting chipped. I feel like this was a safe mid-ground play. I like this play because 
he's like, all right, I got, I, I got the, you know, the moon out here. I mean, excuse me, my opponent got the moon out here and everything. The golden gold coming out is kind of obvious. There's a lot of ways he can take advantage of that. So let me go uh, meow here. So just in case whatever he may want to go, let's say like he wants to take a double to uh, Tingler. Or wants to go Rota. Or wants to go Cinderace. Whatever would put him at a better offensive advantage. Meow is able to handle most, most of those. Or at least pressure most of those. One thing it, it really doesn't wouldn't love would be Cinderace. But at the same time, Cinderace has to think, okay, should I court change here? Or should I attack and force force out the threat? You know, Meow puts him at a better offensive advantage. And the Meow's back. Um, I like how this is being played. This is being played great for if you want to keep some hazards up and uh, whittle down this uh, this dude's team. This is being played very well. Um, this is exactly how you always say you have to play with Meow. You have to, right now, you have to play aggressive. I got I posted in the VR about, you know, my rankings recently and how, like, I had Meow, like, pretty low. Most people, and a lot of people are like, well, why you have Meow so low? And I'm like, well... This is a Toxapex, Corv, and Among Infested metagame. What does Meow like about this metagame? It's not able to, to spam its niche moves so easily. Even if those I even though if the, even if those Pokemon lose their items, generally speaking, those Pokemon have been knocked off as orbs in generations past. They have recovery with regen or roost. Uh, so, you know, it losing it they're not sweating. They just move on. I think that's banded damage, right? 38 too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fan of damage. So this Meow is gonna be really good this game. <clears throat> There's no way that Meow takes out um, Sin though. It should have HP investment, so even knock off should take it. I should do it will do a ton though, don't get me wrong. It will hurt. Like, don't get it twisted. It's gonna hurt. But it's not gonna take it out. Nonetheless, um, my man from Peru is a much better matchup than Drac. Just to make sure, make sure we all saw the same thing. That was a, a fantastic. Oh, and okay, now I, I. Oh no, you know what? That's a safe play. I was gonna say, you know, I feel like you can, you can just safely, you know, you you you've proven the point. The cooking's been cooking. I think you can safely just flower trick there, but yeah, you have to keep in mind the potential Terra, which is unfortunate. That's a discussion for another day. I mean, I'm not even like anti terror really right now. Like, you can't think crazy. Uh, I'm just, I would say indifferent if anything currently. Because, like, what's the point? There's not like, like anything's gonna happen. Yeah, Toxapex was. That was interesting. Oh, he, to be fair, the Golden Gold hasn't re revealed a move, so, like, it assumed that it was, um. Potentially Scarf. You think when did Golden Go? Yeah, when Golden Go came out earlier, really, didn't really do anything that would even make you think it wasn't Scarf. Man, this is an aggressive game. Oh man, gotta stay. Gotta get. Let me fix my chair. We, we, we gotta stay. We, we, I, I ain't seen aggression like this in a minute. Okay, we here. Uh, let's see. Predicts the volt switch pretty nicely. Probably is gonna whirlwind. Yeah, right there. Good job getting pump damage off. Very unfortunate whirlwind though. He's been applying such great pressure this entire game, and now that is getting punished with a court change. We see that it's not Libro. Good. Blaze is better. We see an aggressive play here and just go. Woo! 
Y'all know that little Wayne? That little Wayne meme? He's like, woo! That's gonna be me if he goes straight scales on his own predicted spin. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. At the same time, man. Yeah, that's fine. That's. That's a safe, that is the safe play. That's, a, that's what I'll say. That is the safe play. Well, no hazards for you. No hazards for either of you today, it seems. This is at seven. Chip down to like 31. Well, <clears throat> ooh, ooh, cooking, great, great infestation. Because even if you do get spored, you trap them among. Um, so it's like, you know, it's not, it's not, it's it's not not advantageous for you. You're not losing that. Uh, you're able to keep it in while you burn off those lead turns and end up being a one v one anyway. Unfortunately, it, it does get burned though. It is wearing down the road, which is very nice. Um, if anything, the way that Mans has set things up, Dragapult looks very scary. Uh, Dragapult can potentially just um, carry the remainder of this game. Uh, I assume a Sludge Bomb is going to be clicked here. Nothing really wants to come into the Sludge Bomb. Uh, man, uh, Toxpix is such... Wow, Toxpix is going to be very annoying with Tingu basically dead now. I don't know what Mance is going to do. Goes for another invest. Oh, it's Acid Spray too. Oh, man. Well, good thing it's Giga Drain, not Grass Knot. Because if it was Grass Knot, it was going to be pretty tough. I think it's going to be able to take them out too. Yeah. Mmm. This is our second time seeing uh, Acid Spray uh, Infestation Toxics, which is the best set right now. I'm glad people caught on and understand that this is the best set. I'm getting blown up right now. Jesus. Um, but yeah, great. Mungus is dead. Good set. Good call. But unfortunately, he's going to have to accept something is going to have to be removed off the playing field here. Besides, that's going to be Tingu. Perfectly fine. Perfectly understandable. I will say, though, everything has gotten so weak, though. Uh, admittedly, this Valiant is pretty scary. Now, this is going to click recovery here. And I'm thinking, do you Moonblast here just so you can find out what set he is? Because I feel like the chances of... Also, I am assuming that this is bulky. And based on how he's played it, how he switched out, I think it is 100%. Um, I think based on this team build that it is Cloak. I don't think that it's Scarf. I think that he's, I think he, he finds himself fine with, uh, mentally with, uh, having his fastest Pokemon being Meow and Dragapult. And he feels, you know, I'm sure that he can, well, I will say though, if this team did face a, a Roaring Moon, it would be, it would be Curtains. But nonetheless, what can you do Roaring? That's what Roaring Moon does. Anyway, nonetheless, um... Also, I was just assuming, by the way, that, like, the damage I'm, I've been seeing has been, like, banded. It could very well be, uh, what's it called? Um, Trace Scarf. I, I haven't done counts. Ghost of Shadow Ball there. I mean, my Moonblast play still would have worked out. I mean, you wouldn't have died. <laughs> also, um, I don't, again, I don't think this is Scarf, so you may have even killed it if it's Specs. I'm 31. Million, it could be specs. I could be completely wrong. Okay, now it's our favorite part of the game where we figure out who the heck is gonna win this. Um. Well, this was a win con. What's the Tuscat? Uh-oh. 
This was the Terra. Okay. Interesting Terra choice. Dragapult eats. Sucks. I don't think he needed a Terra so early. Definitely was hoping. I I I don't even think he calculated the damage around us. Or maybe maybe he did. I don't know. I think based on his timer, I doubt he calc it. I think he's just hoping. Head calcs. Ooh, that's a very special defensive skull. Took that like it was nothing. Already showed Terra, so we know it's not tearing here and turns into a fairy. Drag gotta go straight Valiant. Yep. What's it? Tell you, Choice Mix probably gonna throw that away. I'm telling y'all. Woo! You may have needed to pull that trigger. Goes for Shadow Ball. Pretty aggressive. Again, he is very much assuming that it is Scarf. I don't think it's Scarf. In fact, oh, I guess it is Scarf. For him to go back to it, I guess it is Scarf. Eh. I don't know, based on this build and based on how, in my opinion, like, even though there's a Meow, I don't care. <laughs> uh, I still would love to be Garg uh, versus this type of build in certain situations, I should say. Huh? Ah, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because he just has to hope. Um, has to hurt hope, Dirt wins. I mean, I was gonna say live, but uh, no, Val I think Valen can live too with Shadow Ball. No, it can't. No, it cannot. I don't remember the calc. I mean, it's, it's a while since I've faced. Uh, I mean, I guess take a Shadow Ball to end with a Valiant, so. Well, that was that. And I was dead wrong about this not this being Scarf or not. Nonetheless, it would have worked out him, though, staying in, because he was at full at the time, and it would have took it out. Like, it would have worked. Um, I will say. Let me look that. Let me look that playback. Because I wonder if that play would have put him in a better position. Like, where he could maybe win. So, I just felt like the chance of you clicking. Um, make it rain? No, that's what was in that play. Slim to none. Oh, no. Mm, I'm not saying none. But it was, it was pretty in this play. What turn was that? Oh, yeah. It was this turn. No, it wasn't this turn, right? Yeah, no, it wasn't this turn. I think the turn I was thinking of was when there was more. Yeah, it was this turn when the tingle was sacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this shadow ball would have did, uh, let's say, 85, 80. So you're at like, let's say, 15, 20%. This would have died to a moon blast. Then you would have had this at basically dead. This would have been dead. This would have been low. Now the next, the next thing would have would have happened. Um. Either one is coming out. I would imagine Dragapult, but you know, it could have very well been Meow as well. Let's say Dragapult comes out, you sack Tingle. Actually, it doesn't really matter what comes out. You're sacking something. Ah, uh, that's the thing is, I wonder if he could afford to take that damage. I feel like he could, maybe. But then the knockoff spam, probably not. Ah. Oh no, but he would have had that Terra still. He still would have that Terra, so he could have turned this into Fairy and turned this into a knockoff. Yeah, I think, I think that was the plan. I think staying in here on the Shadow Ball. Moon blasting, blowing this away, and then maybe you give yourself a chance. I maybe give yourself a chance. Maybe give yourself. I think then you have a chance. So I think he had to make the risky play staying in. I think that is how you can win the game. All right, I think that was a really good game. I think it was a really good game. Um, man's played super aggressive and it paid off. He played super aggressive throughout the game and it paid off. So congratulations to Peru. Um, congratulations to Naraku. Well played. It's your boy NJ. I'm out. Peace.